Welcome back to the H Channel. So today, um, we actually travel down south. We are now in Ban La Pass, the Penang Free Industrial Zone. I'm actually seated in the HQ of uh, Pentamaster Corporation. Um, a brief introduction, Pentamaster was uh, founded uh, 30 years ago, and it's one of the leading companies in the industry. Uh, Pentamaster is also known as one of the big four in the automated test equipment, the ATE companies in Malaysia. Today is an honour to speak with uh, Executive Chairman Mr Chua, uh, also the co-founder of the group. Uh, thank you for spending your time with us, Mr Chua. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Mr Chua, let's start off by talking about um, Penang Manufacturing. You know, we are known as the Silicon Valley of the East. Well, this is really actually, you know, tracing back the history to the 1970s. You know, this was the brainchild of our late uh, Tun Dr. Lim Chong Yu. Mm. He had the vision of growing Penang mm. then, you know, from an agricultural economy to a manufacturing economy. And I think he has successfully done that. Yep. After so many decades, you know, our GDP has also uh, climbed up many times mm. and providing a, a solid economy foundation to the Penang state. La. A lot of job opportunities also. Um, Mr. Chua, you as one of the players here in this area, 30 years, you know, what is the contributing factor to, um, I, I'll call it a success, you know, to the Silicon Valley of the East, you know, the Penang manufacturing sector. What is the key success factor? Okay, I think this uh, industrialization happened in Penang go back way like you mentioned 50 years ago. La. And it started with the servant samurai, you know, Intel, National yeah. Semiconductor, Hitachi and so forth. And this has bring a transformation to Penang in terms of you know the how how the uh, local people are reacted to it by by for example during those days uh, when they come in they are looking for engineers so the local people are okay now engineering is an important cost for everybody to go in so I'm one one of them people talent are very important yeah. And those days when the Intel coming in, uh, those multinational coming in, they, they start to recruit to hire a lot of local talent. Mm. You know, these local talent are the one who bring the success story. And also from this success story, they also start to bring in the local supply chain ecosystem. For any factory, for any manufacturing, ecosystem of the supply chain are very, very important. And also the important thing is like your political system uh, must be stable you know d during those uh, as uh, being Malaysian we are blessed our political system are very stable mm. and also for the customer I would say compared to other country is very friendly very easy if you don't have a good system efficient system like you know everything will be being affected I mean I would like to say thank you to the government have the foresight you know, to make the custom clearance is so friendly, so efficient, you know, you know, to make the import-export uh, so easy. Um, in summary, we have the set of the infrastructure and I think geographically, you know, our location is also a plus point. Correct. Plus the other soft skills, for example, talent. Um, you know, it's actually a combination of all these factors that you know, make us um, ride through this journey up until up until today. But let's talk about um, the pandemic. The whole world has been affected by the pandemic. But Penang, uh, as a manufacturing hub, we were busier than, than ever. I have some data here. You know, according to the Department of Statistics Malaysia in 2020, Penang recorded the highest uh, export share in the country close to 32 percent, uh, standing at a value of 312 billion ringgit. Penang also contributed 68.2 percent, which is close to 70 percent of Malaysia's total export of electronic integrated circuits mm. and 44 percent in the country's export in the E&E &E segment. I mean, overall, in summary, Penang was very busy during pandemic, okay, and factories are also looking for expansions. Correct. Right. So for Pentamaster, uh, 
can you can you share with us how has the pandemic you know changed or, or has there been a shift in your business direction or has that escalated that process or not? okay uh, during last year pandemic happened actually affect everyone uh, you know mm. in terms of supply chain in terms of traveling restriction uh. so in our business we need to travel we need to source things from all over the the you know the globe to get parts and there's a delay in terms of uh, supplying of material and component but actually the business is there because we cannot supply people are start to go online people start to work from home you know the demand for electronic thing mm. gadget like computer uh, handphone are so important this pandemic has transformed the lifestyle before that, people don't trust online. Can I order things, you know, through online? Can I pay through mm. online, you know? People don't trust. But today, because of a situation, it forces you to conform, to comply. You become yes. a norm. Yes. Become a norm. Become a norm. Uh, bec- once you become a norm, so this, this landscape we have transformed and have created another opportunity for Pentamaster to grow in terms of our warehousing solution, our factory automation solution, and also for the, like anything related to computer one, uh, those are component and testing handler. Uh, our sales are increased related to this area. Warehouse become a very important thing for, for online uh, business yes. and delivery. If we don't have a efficient warehouse system, you can't do online business. Will be, you know, havoc because the volume, the transaction, the traffic are so high. Accuracy are required, you know. So this has created another opportunity for Pentas Master to go into warehouse automation. Okay. What about medical devices? I read in, in some of yeah. your articles. Yeah. We are looking at the, the demand of single-use medical devices. And with the automation technology that we have, that's why Pentamaster now venture into this uh, with the automation solution. You can manufacture the single-use medical devices more cost-efficient with a higher end of quality. So okay. these are the advantages we have. Uh, you started back in 30 years ago. I mean, until... Uh, yes, 1991. Until today, um, you have grown into a multi-billion ringgit company. Right, you are listed in Bursa since 18 years ago and also Hong Kong Stock Exchange since three years ago. Do you want to briefly tell us about Pentamaster's uh, journey in the past 30 years? Okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, 1991, I started this company. Right. Uh, I was an uh, engineer working in Intel and national semiconductors. So after four years of working in multinational company, so I see there's opportunity for you know the because I was happened to involve in automation at that time I saw Intel buying a lot of equipment automation you know from all over the world and then at that time Intel also looking for for in uh, what they call local supply of equipment okay. and so at that time I decided to 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 come out and form this company at the time we call Penta Electronic okay. the reason why I call Penta Penta stands for Penang Technology Automation. Okay, this is how the word Penta come from. So, we started this. Initially, yes, because you don't have a track record. You need time to gain confidence from the customer. Mm-hmm. So, in 1997, there is where it's a turning point, you know, uh, Asian monetary financial, co- financial yes. crisis. Yes. So, for importing of the machinery from USA or overseas is very expensive. This is where Pentamaster start to grow, you know, because a lot of the company, multinational or local, they start looking inwards. And then we are given the opportunity to start to supply automation for them. And then after year 2008, Pentamaster in trouble. The world, world economy meltdown. That's where it's another turning point. We go up and we come down. And then after 2008, looking at this, we restructure the whole company, go back to basics, go back to our core competency and then in the year 2010 we start to go up the value chain of technology by focusing on more value add thing and then we start to turn around the company from year 2010 we continue to grow until now I see. and why we can grow a few key factors so we believe restructure 
re rebranding ourselves, we mm. go into a more value add, high mm. value add mm. technology. Year 2010, we start to go into a high end testing solution with automation. With the automation experience we have, you know, for the past 20 years, now we start to reinvest into a, like smart sensor, uh, involved in automotive, involved in factory automation. These are higher end of automation uh, technology and Panda Master start to turn around now until today. Right, right. Year 2020 with the trade war, this is another opportunity for us, trade diversion. Mm. Trade diversion because of China and US are mm. Uh, mm. you know, fighting, you know, yeah. I don't want to be inside your motherland, I don't want to be in your land. Okay, well, you come to me. La. So, so we can sell both sides. We can sell both sides. Yeah, that, yeah. that, I mean, um, geographically, you know, we, we, are, mm. we are away from them. So that that yeah. also in certain way advantage to Correct. us. Correct. So today our China market is growing, our US market is growing, our Euro market is growing. Mm. Okay. And this is, a, a, you know, a big thing for the local automation company, not only for Penta, you know, in, Pen in Penang, there are many good automation companies like Vitrox, you know, mm -hmm. these are the good company. Mm -hmm. They are selling worldwide now. Okay. But of course, um, <laughs> as a Penang-based company, um, you have your presence in, in, in various parts of, of the world and you work with many Fortune 500 companies. Uh, you also play a part in um, the big brothers, you know, for example, the, the, the fruit company. Uh, one of the biggest uh, search engine companies in the world. And from what you've told me, um, you have your way of making yourself different um, as compared to other players. Penta Master's business has always been revolved in, uh, um, in uh, 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 frontier products, you know, uh, exclusive technological products, you mm. know, looking into the future. What about your, 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 your listing in, in Hong Kong? I mean, tell us a little bit about that. You know, how has that helped um, Pentamaster in terms of your presence or your okay. business expansion? Uh, yeah, we listed in Chaos Stock Exchange and then we decided to get ourselves listed in Hong Kong for a few reasons. Uh. One is at that time we want to be so-called go global and then we see the opportunity in the greater China. Mm -hmm. There's a big market there. And then like you look at the China now, I think we, we, we make the move correct. If you want to do business with a local GLC, a local big company in China, you have to be present in China. But being present in Hong Kong is part of the China, mm -hmm. that is an advantage. Mm -hmm. After listing in Hong Kong, I think our business from China are getting more. I understand that you hire the most, vast majority of your staff locally. Yep. Um, actually, how do you see the, the local talents? Actually, to tell you frankly, that is not enough. Harvest is a lot because there's a lot of business opportunity in this automation field. Mm. And customer orders sometimes they're coming in. Uh, we have to be very selective in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of uh, are there any potential future quantity and profitable because we are lack of engineers. Uh, skill labor. Okay. Are they involved more in the research base, uh, R and D works, or Both. design, R and D? Mm. These are the skill people. Mm. Those are good in design, good in uh, you know. Mm. Those are engineering works, mm. good in programming, mm. good in electronics, good in optics. Mm. These are the few of uh, people are very in high demand. Okay, but like you say, you know there are harvests to be done. Yeah. What is, what would be the solution to that? What would be a, what would be what do you recommend? Is it through education? Is it through training mm. from private sectors? I think both la. I think education is one of the key factor, and also for Panda Master Company, our asset la, It's not all the machinery we have. It's not the computer we have. It's the brain. So. How do you see Penang um, in general moving forward? How do we continue to be competitive you know, in terms of our competition in the global arena? I think Penang still have very, very good prospect because first thing, Penang is free of natural disaster. Penang is a strategic location. Penang still have a lot of talent. Penang have a very good food. They attract foreigner. I think these are the plus And also, look at the industrialization in Penang for the last 50 years. 
Many factories are stay put here, they never go away. Mm. Some even expand. Why? Mm. Because of the confidence, because of the, they look at the like, talent still, you know, still there. And then that's why I say Penang, when you talk about high technology, Penang still a very attractive place to, mm. to come in because let's say Intel or many other like other the semiconductor company or any other technology company, they come in here, they can find automation company like us, they can get the supply chain easily, they can source component easily, they can import export easily. Mm. And I also realized, uh, Mr. Chua, this is a final question. Uh, you have your sentiment towards Penang. You, know, you seem to, 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 to stick with this place. You find comfort in this place. Mm. Um, tell us, you know, how do you feel about Penang? If there's a chance for you to um, um, tell people the good things about Penang, what do you have to say about this place? Okay, since I born here in 1961, I think I will die here also soon. <laughs> I mean, uh, I won't move, I won't migrate. Too in, early to say. Yeah, this. yeah, I won't migrate. I mean, I will stay put here. And uh, for Pentamaster itself alone, I think we will continue to expand here. Mm. But due to the business uh, demand and the uh, landscape, of the requirements you know today people don't talk about globalization because people talking uh, i mean the country start talking about localization right. so pentamaster have to move to expand not to relocate to harvest more more opportunity la. Okay. because localization uh, is today is a key instinct you know of every country you know i think we are really proud to have uh, people like Mr. Chua, you know, leading Penta Master, which is a homegrown company, mm. to go out of Penang to, to explore the world. Hong Kong and Penang, we have many similarities, but of course, each has their own characteristics. Um, both a beautiful island, you know, British colonial. Um, we have transformed in a different way. Hong Kong has transformed into a financial hub, whereas Penang, uh, manufacturing front is still uh, the backbone of our economy. But whichever it is, both are close to Mr. Chua's heart, right? Uh, both are important places. Um, that's about it for today's episode. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chua, for thank sharing you. your insights with us. Thank uh, you. It's been You're a welcome. pleasure. Thank you and see you again. See you again.